The iPad Pro, 10.5 inch, is powered by Apple's own A10X Fusion Sack which is a variant of the A10 chip which powers the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. This is a pretty powerful sock and we faced no performance issues during our time using the iPad. We treated this iPad as a replacement for our MacBook Air for the duration of the review. The first question to answer is whether the iOS platform has enough Pro apps to justify buying this device rather than a laptop. Apps such as Ulysses, Affinity Photo, and Diasui Sketches, Free, Pro, are just a few of the good Pro apps that allow you to do things you'd normally only do on a laptop. We've bought quite a few iOS games and heavy apps over the years, and now the ecosystem is robust enough for us to consider a switch. To describe our typical workflow, we'd have at least 10 tabs open in Safari at any point, plus Apple Music playing in the background, and the writing app Ulysses for our daily work. During breaks we fired up games such as Table Tennis Touch. Banner Saga, and Transistor. We also used Netflix to watch HD movies. We'd keep switching between these tasks and also check in on our messaging apps, email, and Tweetbot. In all of this we never noticed any performance issues. Switching between apps and tasks was smooth, and we didn't even have to reload Safari tabs, a problem we faced a lot with older iOS devices that ran out of RAM frequently. But the iPad Pro lineup has typically been generous in terms of the amount of RAM it ships with. We were quite impressed with the battery life of the iPad Pro, 10.5 inch, as well. It lasted for 10 hours with the screen on, which included watching videos with a nice stereo speakers, which are known to consume more battery power compared to plugging in a pair of headphones. We also noted that we could get around 30-40 hours in standby depending on how frequently we used the device. Most people will have to charge the iPad Pro, 10.5 inch, once every two or three days, which is excellent compared to a laptop doing the same work. The iPad Pro, 10.5 inch, has a pretty good 12 megapixel camera too but this review was honestly the only reason we even used it to take photos with. It might be a good camera but we don't see ourselves using an iPad as our primary camera simply because it's too unwieldy.